howdy, howdy. Back again for uh, another episode of Alexander Shares the Wild. I was just admiring how nice and golden my hair is in the sun. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, this video is a little different. Um, I think it's still in theme uh, because it's about uh, just sharing a little bit of what I saw along uh, the border, the Mexico-United States border as far as uh, illegal migrant trails that I just came across because I tend to go off trail and I find things that a lot of people won't see because they kind of stay on trail. But um, so anyway, I just kind of walk an uh, illegal migrant trail um, and kind of show you what I saw. So that's about it. It's, it's interesting. Um, it's good to see because a lot of people won't get, get down there and see kind of you know boots on the ground type stuff so anyway i just share a little bit of what i saw and then um some of the border wall which i found interesting to see as well so yeah it's just footage so um illegal immigration is wild so i think it's in theme alexander shares the wild so there you go so anyway uh enjoy and something unique for you all right here we go okay so starting off with a map again um the first part of the video is uh, going to be the border wall at Sasabe, which is a little town. It's on the United States side, uh, but it's a border town, and uh, there's quite a bit of wall there. So uh, the footage is uh, me uh, just driving down 286 towards Sasabe to show that footage. The second part of the video is uh, some illegal immigrant trails that I found and followed and uh, they were approximately uh, in the area shown by the arrow um, just west of Aravaca in the in the refuge. So a little bit of trivia for the area between 286 and Highway 19 there uh, that you see in the center of the map. Um, I looked at some statistics and since uh, 2000 or 2001 to 2018 approximately 500 over 500 bodies have been discovered uh, from illegal immigration that died uh, coming into the country um, so this is a I don't know a pretty used pathway uh, to come into the United States and if you go down highway 19 it's not shown on the map but um, all the way to the border, uh, you have the town of uh, Nogales, which is a, a huge hub for illegal immigration and border crossing. So some other experiences down along the border. Um, while I was in the refuge, I did see uh, a couple illegal immigrants uh, that were just traversing across um, some rough terrain. They were all dressed in black and um, just kind of walking along. And then uh, that same day, I was talking to a, a park ranger or one of the park personnel and uh, I guess a big group of illegal immigrants had come and uh, they were in need of water so uh, they were supplied with some water so it's a constant thing down there uh, border patrol is everywhere there's checkpoints there's virtual checkpoints so it's just a big cat and mouse game down there it's fascinating uh, at one point um, when I was going into uh, one of the access points in the refuge, I met a local lady from Aravaca. And uh, I was just trying to get some information about how to get uh, to certain areas in the refuge and uh, just to get some footage and film different, uh, different things, ecosystems. And uh, after talking to her for a bit, I guess I, I asked enough questions where she became a little bit uncomfortable. And then she thought I was a, a fed or undercover personnel for the border patrol um, so there's a lot of people that help the immigrants I guess it's not legal to they supply water and whatnot um, but anyway I don't know what she was doing but she she got a little paranoid that I was undercover but that was kind of laughable I, I assured her that I was not okay well enough rambling on that uh, so here we go I hope you find uh, this footage as interesting as I did uh, experiencing it
Okay, so again, this is a uh, 286 headed south and I'm uh, just not far up from uh, Sassapi at this point. Uh, looks like there was a vehicle fire on the road, burned up some pavement. Um, I did see a couple of, of those situations on the road around that area. I don't know what it is with vehicle fires down here, um, but off in the distance, you can see, see the wall there. Uh, it'll become clear as we get a little closer. So here you can see uh, Sassabee in the distance. There's a, a checkpoint down there, border crossing. Um, and then the wall goes off to the east and the west, uh, quite a distance. It, it, it's not connective to Nogales or anything. It just goes for quite a ways along the, the border station here. Um, but I think between Nogales and Sassabee, um, that corridor is a pretty common crossing area and then off to the left you can see a detention center there um, those you often see around the, the border towns like Douglas I saw them um, so they have different facilities for keeping uh, immigrants until they figure out what to do with them So now we're uh, actually entering in the little town of Sassabee. And uh, it's a fascinating little town. These little border towns are just, it's almost like a different world. Um, but coming in on the right here, you'll see the little Sassabee store. And uh, this is like a several generation store. The lady in there was um, really cool. Um, so I got a couple Snickers in there and just to say I was there and uh, bought something, but it was a cool place. So this is just around the corner of the store. I didn't go any further, um, but I just wanted to show the extent of the wall in the distance. You could see it carved through the, the mountains there. Uh, so it goes quite a ways out. It's a pretty substantial structure. Um, and hopefully it helps, helps the border patrol. And so this is looking off to the the west portion of the border wall. And then just up on the hill is the, the border crossing. Now, like I said, the this these little border towns, it's so it's a just the illegal immigration and just the border with Mexico. It's just, it's a totally different world down there. Uh, so this is jumping into the, uh, the trails that I found. So I'd gone off uh, trails, boonie crashing a little bit, and I, I saw this little cucumber melon. And I'm like, wow, that's different. And I knew I was on a trail and uh, the creek beds around in here. Um, for being somewhat remote, you wouldn't think there would be a lot of foot Prints, foot traffic on them but there was and then I started noticing uh, backpacks um, so I guess a big part of, of the process of coming into the country is uh, they get set up with these backpacks with limited supplies and then when they get to their pickup points or wherever they try to get into the country and kind of blend um, they dropped the backpacks. That was a camouflage water container. And so this was all kind of really eerie to me. It was, it was interesting processing what I was seeing. Like I, I'd never seen this before. So had some toothpaste there and the water bottles were fairly common, just littered about. 
And then this, there was actually some fresh cut branches on top of this little shelter. Um, so they do try to be stealthy about it um, and not, not be seen from uh, above aerially. I don't know if Border Patrol has drones or how they detect illegal immigrants. But um, so here you see the water bottles, backpacks, and then some of these, uh, the portions of the trail are, they're, they're well used. You can tell they've been in use for, for some time. And uh, I did not see any uh, people in here. I think maybe it was maybe just before kind of the height of the season. Um, I don't know, it's hard to understand what's, uh, how this is all working down here. So here I'm just continuing on and then um, up above there was kind of an interesting kind of natural feature that I think was utilized for maybe hunkering down overnight. There was a large uh, drop off uh, to the right coming up here. And I think this is where they would uh, possibly hide and hang out. There's a little bit of a litter, litter down in here, but another kind of a sheltered area where you could hang out. And I kind of thought that because up, up on the top area here, there were uh, more backpacks strewn about. It's all very interesting because you know each backpack is it's a story somebody making a decision to come on in to the United States and uh, I probably could have continued this trail for a long ways it was very interesting um, but I felt like after a while I'd kind of seen enough. Here's a camo hat. Yeah, just different items laying about, clothing here and there. I think uh, one part of kind of their kind of preparations to cross the border is uh, medications and different painkillers. So that was a little bit of that. So again, this is, I think this is towards the end of the journey. So that's why a lot of this stuff just gets discarded. And then this was an interesting uh, drop off. There's another backpack. But it was about 10, 12 feet down. Um, so it's kind of interesting to visualize how many, how many people through the years have held on to these, these branches and clambered down this embankment. It was very well worn. And down in this, this bottom area, you know, there were more water bottles strewn about and then uh, there was an interesting uh, little shelter off over here so this was uh, pretty well built up um, as as cover so I several people could fit fit in here and not be seen aerially and just kind of hide out so I think these things get reinforced a little bit here and there. And um, the coyotes, the people that, I guess, help guide illegal immigrants into the country, kind of have these 
procedures they go through. It's a whole economy from what I understand with the cartels and the coyotes and how they go about escorting the people into the country. So yeah, that was about it. This was such an interesting experience for me just to see this. You'll hear about this and that, but to walk one of the trails was uh, kind of eye-opening and just kind of get a feel for the other side of it. So anyway, that was it. I hope you kind of found this uh, as fascinating as I did. Well, there you go. That's a little bit of footage of what I saw um, for the migrant trails and uh, the border wall around uh, Sasabe. And uh, anyway, it's, it's interesting. Um, so I think it's good to share stuff like that as well. Um, so I enjoyed Booney crashing a little bit. Um, and uh, anyway, so that's it for this episode. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care, stay safe, be happy. That's it.